Uh, welcome to the demonstration of uh, uh, ND9 Microwave Engineering Lab uh, practical. Uh, this uh, practical comes under CO2 uh, course outcome 2 of our subject. And today we are going to discuss transmission line uh, practical and uh, specifically we are going to uh, demonstrate how do we calculate uh, characteristic impedance. So before that let me introduce myself. I am Lokesh Sadrani. We are going to perform this practical transmission line and uh, we are going to uh, calculate the characteristic impedance in this uh, practical. So first of all uh, I would like to explain what is the kit for this uh, practical. In this transmission line trainer kit uh, we are having 100 meter length uh, coaxial cable inside this kit. So, we have divided 25-25 meter ke char part mein yahan par divided hai so that it, it becomes compact and it fits in this kit. So, we are having 4 sections 25 meters each and each section can be connected to the other sections and we are having uh, BNC connectors for input and output so that we will be able to connect this uh, on CRO and we, uh, we can see the output in output and input waveforms. We are also, also having uh, inbuilt high frequency function generator which can be uh, used to uh, feed this transmission line. Uh, we are having two choices of uh, the waveform sine wave as well as square wave and uh, the frequency range which is available in this kit is uh, 4 megahertz and 400 kilohertz basically we are going to uh, use this lower one frequency range 400 kilohertz uh, these knobs are for uh, varying the amplitude and the frequency of this function generator also we are having uh, variable resistances and uh, which are used to balance the input and output uh, circuits. We are also having some other uh, potentiometers uh, or other variable resistance values which we are going to use in this practical. For this practical in which we are going to calculate the characteristic impedance we are going to use the uh, whole length 100 meter so that uh, so we are going to connect all the sections of 25 meters each and uh, will make it a single 100 meter wire. So I am connecting the different sections section 1 to section 2. We are using simple patch cords and section 2 to section 3 because it is two wire system as you know the coaxial cable so we need to connect both the wires so in this way we have connected now section 3 and section 4 and we are del uh, deliberately keeping the output as open because we need to uh, calculate the input uh, parameters uh, keeping the output as open and as well as as short as once we what we are going to do is uh, once we measure the input parameters when the load and is open circuited and uh, again uh, we read the input parameters when the load and is short circuited so uh, from the equivalent circuit diagram of transmission line here as we know we have four parameters l is the uh, series inductance r is the series resistance g is the parallel conductance and c is the parallel capacitance these are the primary parameters of transmission line and uh, we need to calculate RLGC to use to be able to use this formula for characteristic impedance Z is equal to root over R plus J omega L upon G plus J omega C. So uh, we cannot calculate uh, all the four values at the same instant what we do first we make it open circuited at the load end and what we get is uh, the value of G and C. 
again when the load end is short circuited what we get is the values of r and l from the those values we can calculate the characteristic impedance for a simple case uh, in which we assume the frequency to be uh, high of the lcr meter we can neglect the values of g and r and simply we can uh, use a simplified formula which uses l and c to calculate the characteristic impedance so we are connecting uh, lcr meter input mein hum lcr meter ko connect karenge is tarah se ek patch cord se main uh, lcr meter ko input mein connect kar raha hu abhi maine output open circuit rakha hua hai to open circuit ke case mein मेरी जो रीडिंग्स मुझे लेनी है एल मीटर में आप रीडिंग देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर एल मीटर में मुझे रीडिंग लेनी है मैंने एल मीटर को वन किलो हर्ट्स पर सेट किया हुआ है और मैं यहाँ पर अब देखिए स्टेबल हो रहा है यहाँ पर वैल्यू सी जो है उसकी वैल्यू मुझे यहाँ पर लेनी है तो अभी देख रहे हैं कि रीडिंग नाइन या 9.5 अराउंड आ रहा है तो आई एल नोट डाउन दिस वैल्यू ऑफ सी एंड ऑल्सो आई कैन नोट डाउन द वैल्यू ऑफ आर विच विल गिव अस द वैल्यू ऑफ जी ठीक है जो पैरल इंडक्टेंस जी है और पैरल कैपेसिटेंस सी है वो वैल्यू हम यहाँ से नोट करेंगे तो सी की वैल्यू 9.5 है और आर की वैल्यू अराउंड वन 115. Okay, so we note down this values. In the open circuit, case we are having C is equal to 9.5 nanofarad. The unit was 9.5. Uh, sorry, unit was nanofarad. and uh, r value is 115 ohms which will give us g value g is nothing but 1 upon r now we short the load and i am putting a short मैं शॉर्ट सर्किट लगा रहा हूँ सिंपली एक पैच कॉर्ड मैंने आउटपुट पे लगा दिया शॉर्ट सर्किट के केस में भी मुझे अब एल की रीडिंग्स लेनी है सो विल गो टू द एल मीटर एल मीटर में अब रीडिंग्स देखते हैं अब हमको रीडिंग लेनी है शॉर्ट सर्किट के केस में इंडक्टेंस की वैल्यू लेनी है तो आप देख रहे हैं 31.2 माइक्रो हैनरी आ रही है एल की वैल्यू और आर की वैल्यू अराउंड 16 ओम आ रही है तो ये वैल्यूज मैं नोट कर लेता हूं फिर से एल वैल्यू इन शॉर्ट सर्किट केस में एल इज 31.2 वन माइक्रो हैनरी एंड आर इज 16 ओम ठीक है सो टू कैलकुलेट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इंपिडेंस वी कैन यूज the exact formula z0 is equal to r plus j omega l upon g plus j omega c which will give us the characteristic impedance value or as we are using 1 kilohertz we can use approximate formula z0 is equal to under root l upon c we put these values and we get approximate value of 
characteristic impedance as 56 ohm so in this way we have verified that the characteristic impedance value of this coaxial cable is around 56 ohm because the apparatus is of uh, uh, academic purpose there might be some uh, variation so it should come around 50 ohm 